today we will going to discuss about the uh, remaining examples uh, regarding for the nodal analysis for the dependent source uh, from this example to find out the total current i0 in the circuit using the nodal analysis and uh, from using the kcl at node 2 this is the node 1 and node 2 and forming the controlling equation at node 1 and we can simplify the problem into the simple equations current entering into the node is uh, summed at the node from the, that equation. Then it will be forming the KCL uh, at a node 2. They, this is the V2, V2 upon 2 kilo ohm, V2 upon 2 kilo ohm. From that part we will going to discuss first. Uh, V2 upon 2 kilo ohm plus 2 milliampere plus V1 upon V1 upon 2 kilo ohm minus 4 milliampere minus 4 milliampere which is equal to 0 means from that side we will move in this way that is the V2 V2 upon 2 kilo ohm plus this part 2 milliampere plus V1 this part V1 upon 2 kilo ohm minus 4 milliampere which is equal to 0 this is the equation number 1 then controlling equation the controlling equation is that V1 plus 2 kx k 2 kilo ohm into ix which is equal to v2 means basically v1 minus v2 this equation is v1 minus v2 plus 2 kix which is equal to 0 therefore the v1 plus 2 kix which is equal to v2 this is the equation number 2 then from that equation ix which is equal to ix which is equal to v1 upon 2 kilo ohm v1 upon 2 kilo ohm means 2 k i x basically v2 and uh, v2 to be taken into consideration i x which is equal to this 2 k i x which is equal to v1 means if the v2 which is equal to 0 then i x which is from that equation the i x which is equal to v1 upon 2 kilo ohm then v1 plus this 2 kilo ohm from that equation ix which is equal to v1 upon 2 kilo ohm which is equal to v2 therefore 2 v1 which is equal to v2 this is the equation number form means from that equation we find out the 2 v1 which is equal to v2 then here put the equation number 4 in 1 that is to simplify the circuit to obtain the nodal voltage v2 upon 2x plus 2m plus v2 upon 2 into 2 kilo ohm minus 4 milliampere which is equal to 0 therefore we have again the same procedure as we seen in my previous video here denominator should be same and from that denominator we multiply the 2 here and uh, here therefore 2 v2 2 v2 here is 2 vx therefore 2 v2 plus 8 plus v2 is we multiply the 2 here 2 to 4 again here the denominator should be 4 parameter 4 of the 4 kilo ohm and that 4 kilo ohm is the multiply by 0 therefore here is the 2 v2 plus 8 milliampere and kilo ohm that uh, tends to minus 3 and plus 3 gets cancelled plus v2 minus 16 which is equal to 0 therefore 2 v2 plus v2 there is a 3 v2 and 8 minus 16 which is equal to minus 8 therefore 3 v2 minus 8 which is equal to 0 and 3 v2 which is equal to 8 therefore v2 which is equal to 8 upon 3 v so i0 is calculated that is the i0 which is equal to v2 upon 2 kilo ohm and actually v2 which is equal to 8 upon 3 volt therefore uh, basically here v2 which is equal to 8 upon 3 into 2 therefore 4 upon 3 milliampere means the i0 which is equal to 4 upon 3 milliampere we have calculated calculated here then next uh, using the mesh analysis means uh, in previous up to the previous example we will learn and how to apply the Kirchhoff's current law and super node analysis in case of the mesh analysis mesh analysis involves the solving 
the electronic circuit by finding the mesh or loop current of the circuit and this is done by forming kvl equation for respected loops and solving the equation to find the individual mesh currents then from that equation we simply assume the clockwise current flow here is 1 2 and 3 there are the three loops and all current is always flow in a clockwise direction we just assume that then all the loops and find them to analysis the circuit and also the independent current source in the loop become the loop current and its current in series in the same direction then mesh analysis how to solve the mesh analysis for the independent sources we will going to discuss here uh, to find out the v0 means the voltage drop across the 6 kilo ohm our main intention is to be find out how much the voltage drop across the 6 kilo ohm if we observe very carefully from this figure then here the 2 kilo ohm 4 kilo ohm then 2 kilo ohm that all that resistors are here for this loop the resistor are connected in series which is parallel with this source and again this voltage source that is the 6 volt 6 volt and here is the 3 volt again it will be connected plus and minus means again it will be added together then for the loop 1 from this loop 1 6 volt here is the 6 kilo ohm for that 6 kilo ohm i1 plus i1 minus i2 into 2 kilo ohm plus 3 which is equal to 0 means from this loop we have right now the equation 4 plus 2 is the 6 kilo ohm and current flowing through this circuit is the i1 therefore 6 kilo ohm 6 i1 plus i1 minus i2 for this i1 minus i2 into 2 kilo ohm which is equal to minus 3 volt means your current is moving towards the plus sign hence it is treated as the negative sign then we modify this equation 6 kilo ohm is 6 k i1 plus i1 minus i2 2 kilo ohm plus 3 which is equal to 0 this is the equation number 1 then next in the loop second in the loop second we apply from this side here this loop starting from 1 2 3 and 4 then in the loop second there is a minus 6 it is moving the current is a move towards the positive sign and here is the current is a moving away from the positive sign hence it is treated as the negative then the minus 6 plus 6 kilo ohm into i2 plus here from this i will move 1 2 3 4 in this direction in clockwise direction hence here is the minus 6 volt plus 6 kilo ohm into i2 plus i2 minus i1 into 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm minus here which is equal to plus 3 volt means here is the minus 3 okay which is equal to 0 then for simplifying this equation there is a minus 2 kilo ohm i2 plus 8 kilo ohm i1 which is equal to minus 3 4 into from that equation the 30 kilo ohm i2 which is equal to 33 means we have calculated here how much the current is calculated here that is i2 which is equal to 11 upon 10 11 upon 10 that is 1.1 which is 1.1 now we can find out i2 then v0 which is equal to 6 kilo ohm into i2 6 kilo ohm into i2 i2 which is equal to 1.1 then 1.1 into 6 and i2 is always in the milliampere therefore here the 6 which is equal to 6.6 volt means here is the 33 divided by 5 the same answer will come 33 divided by 5 which is equal to 6.6 volt means here we have calculated here the v0 which is equal to 6.6 volt then next example dependent source 
in case of the dependent source the find out the voltage v0 in the circuit using mesh analysis uh, for the simplify the circuit using independent source by assigning them to mesh current for the specific loop here if there are the one two and three loops is available and the i1 which is equal to here is the current source i1 i1 which is equal to 6 milliampere which is called as the primary current in the loop 1 then i2 which is equal to vx upon 4 kilo ohm where vx which is equal to 4 kilo ohm into i1 minus i3 this i1 minus i3 means here the unknown voltage source vx which is equal to here is the i1 uh, I, i1 and i3 this difference uh, different of the current is able to flow through this circuit this is the equation number 3 then we had obtained the v0 which is equal to using to find out the i3 using the mesh analysis the v0 which is equal to 4 kilo ohm into i3 uh, by equation 2 and by using the K, kvl the 4k i3 plus 4k i3 minus 6 milliampere plus 2 kilo ohm i3 minus i2 which is equal to 0 this is the equation number 5 then i2 which is equal to 4 kilo ohm upon 4 kilo ohm into i1 minus i3 then here is the basically i1 current and i1 is the 6 milliampere then now put the equation number 6 in the equation number 5 then we get uh, 4 kilo ohm i3 plus 4 kilo ohm i3 minus 6 milliampere plus 2 kilo ohm i3 here is i3 minus i2 and i2 which is equal to i1 that is i1 minus i1 that is the i3 minus minus plus there is i3 minus i1 which is equal to 0 then 12 kilo ohm by uh, resolving this equation 12k i3 minus 24 minus 2 kilo ohm into 6 milliampere that is 10 raised to plus 3 and 10 raised to minus 3 again gets cancelled and 6 into 2 12 means 24 minus 12 which is equal to minus 36 therefore 12k i3 which is equal to 36 and i3 which is equal to 3 milliampere this here v0 which is equal to 4 kilo ohm into 3 milliampere which is equal to 12 volt means v0 which is equal to 12 volt whatever we have expected to find out here then next this is the practice problem is given to you uh, find out the v0 this is find out the v0 in the circuit for the nodal analysis here is to use the node analysis to find out the v0 in the circuit there here is the practice problem to find out the v0 by using the node analysis where v0 by 2 is a given there are the three loops and uh, the here is the there are the two voltage sources given and to find out the v0 from this example use the node analysis to find out the v1 v2 v3 the node analysis is used and here is the current source is in parallel with the voltage source current source is a uh, parallel with the resistance and here is the current source is uh, again parallel with the resistance means here is the source transformation technique is also used and uh, with the help of the source transformation technique if the current source is in parallel with the resistance source means suppose this example 3 ampere is the current source and is in parallel with the 4 ohm resistance then according to the Ohm's law, V which is equal to I into R means 4 into 3, there is a 12 volt voltage supply and this resistance is again coming series with the voltage source. Similarly here, there is a 4 ampere current source is in parallel with the 1 Ohm resistance. If suppose it will be transformed from current source to voltage source, there is a 4 ampere into 1 Ohm means there is a 4 volt is the voltage source is given then using the mesh analysis to find out the voltage drop across the 4, oh, 4 kilo ohm resistance and with the help of the 4 kilo ohm resistance uh, to find out using the mesh analysis in this way 
the number of the example should be given c this is the solution to practice the problems here is the node 1 node 2 node 3 and 2 is the taken as the reference node and uh, node number 1 node number 2 and node number 3 here is the current source is given 2 milliampere and uh, i3 current here there are the three current i1 i2 i3 and uh, kirchhoff's current law at a node 2 there is a 2 milliampere from this 2 milliampere which is equal to i2 plus i3 is incoming current which is equal to outgoing current means 2m which is equal to i2 plus i3 therefore 2m which is equal to i2 i2 which is equal to v2 v2 upon 12 kilo ohm plus v2 minus v3 upon 6 kilo ohm therefore v2 plus 2 v2 minus 2 v3 which is equal to 24 therefore 3 v2 minus 2 v3 which is equal to 24 means we find out here there are the three loops there are 1 2 and 3 there are the three loops should be available here then solution to practice here kcl for the super node i1 plus i2 plus i0 which is equal to 0 and for i1 v1 upon 12k plus v2 upon 12k plus v3 upon 4k which is equal to 0 and uh, as told earlier here is the denominator should be same and for that denominator v1 plus v2 plus 3 v3 which is equal to 0 therefore v3 minus v1 which is equal to 6 therefore minus v1 plus v3 which is equal to 6 and v1 which is equal to minus 6.43 volt therefore v2 which is equal to 7.71 volt and v3 which is equal to minus 0.43 volt therefore v0 which is equal to v3 which is equal to minus 0.43 volt means finally we have to find out the value of the v0 which is equal to minus 0.43 volt then for that problem the kcl node at the super node and from that super node here is the current source and current should be divided to the here there is a 6 milliampere which is equal to i2 plus i0 here is the i2 and here is the i0 therefore again 6 milliampere where 6 milliampere current is a flow there at a node 2 and uh, at a node at output node there is 6 milliampere from that 6 milliampere there is a v1 upon v1 upon 4 kilo ohm plus v3 upon 6 kilo ohm which is equal to 6 milliampere then from that equation 3 v1 plus 2 v3 which is equal to 72 therefore v1 minus v3 which is equal to 12 then here is again 3 v1 plus 2 v3 which is equal to 72 and v1 minus v3 which is equal to 12 then we have to be multiply either 3 or 2 from the equation number here from that equation and v1 which is equal to 19.2 volt and v3 which is equal to 7.2 volt by solving the above equation and v0 which is equal to v3 which is equal to 7.2 volt and here to calculate v0 which is equal to 7.2 volt.